Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer. That's paularcher.com. Welcome to the Gloucestershire Sunshine uh, here on a Saturday morning. I've just been uh, out with my dogs and uh, they're, they're looking pretty exhausted, as you can probably see there. There's, there's Florence down there. Hey, Florence. And over there is, is Brodie as well. But, uh, now I've just come back and I was thinking about uh, some, some ideas to share with you about sales. And this one's for telephone selling and it will help you with uh, understanding how to make appointments and, and sell products, really. Actually, it'll just remind you of something you probably already know about. Now, it comes down to uh, a little conversation I had with my daughter this week about um, Armistice Day. And as you know, on Friday, we were waiting for 11 o'clock and uh, we all went very quiet. The whole nation went quiet at 11 o'clock to, to commiserate the, uh, the falling of many, many hundreds of thousands and millions of soldiers in, over the wars. And um, the, the stat came up on the news, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. I think it was that many 11s anyway. And my daughter Bethany said, well, what's that all about, Daddy? And I said, well, it's the 11th second of the 11th hour of the 11th um, day of the 11th month of the 11th year. And that's how you come to uh, commiserate the, the armistice. And she suddenly understood it. Now, it makes you think about numbers and stats and figures because the 11th hour, everybody went quiet. We were measuring it. We knew to go quiet for one minute to, uh, to hold our uh, condolences, really. And in sales, we, we do the same thing, particularly in telephone selling. Now, I was working with a client recently who were monitoring their telephone sales by numbers of sales or appointments made, whatever it is they wanted to target. And they said to me, look, but we want to, bring, we want to build these up. I said, well, how are you measuring it? How are you uh, watching activity of your salespeople? I said, no, well, we're just measuring sales. Of course, they were missing a trick, and we talked about activity. You know the kind of thing. You make a, 100 calls, you, know, you get through to 25 people, and you get conversations with 10 people. Of those, you probably sell appointments to two people. And uh, that kind of thing works. It's worked for many, many years and still works now. And management, uh, sales managers want to be able to manage that. And they can manage it and it has many, many advantages. But the most important thing is, like my daughter with 11-11, you've got to help the salespeople understand why you're doing it. I hear many salespeople moan about my manager's on my back now because I haven't done my 10 calls this week or I haven't made my 100 calls this, this day because there's always problems. And, and uh, they don't understand why. But they kind of do, but they don't really understand the implications of it. And if they did, then they would understand a couple of major advantages it gives them. One of the most the biggest advantage I know of with regards to salespeople understanding why the activity is being measured is it's kind of an inner game thing because many salespeople, particularly on the telephone, get really wrapped up about not getting the calls and not getting the, the numbers and the sales. And they get quite stressed and they get quite like in themselves and they have this negative thinking all the time. Now, if you worked on the premise that uh, you know if you're going to make 10 calls, you're actually going to get through to one person. So after the eighth or ninth call, when you're feeling really depressed, you should just turn your attention to the positive thinking that you know for every nine calls I make, I'm going to get through to somebody. So I'm closer to that actually the call. Now that's been known for many years, particularly with with sales. And it's a bit old, 1980s, isn't it? But actually, the, 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 it makes sense even now today. So that's a little advantage for you. The other advantage as well is if you're monitoring activity and you're measuring activity of salespeople, and you've got your right activity ratios, of course, then you can target your training and your coaching. You don't just train them on everything you don't sheep dip training which is one of the biggest problems of training isn't it now you're able to measure an activity and if for example um, Mark's making 100 calls but he's only getting through to say 10 people then you need to do some training with Mark on his um, getting through gatekeeper and making the right calls at the right times and the research that kind of thing it just helps you with the training so there's quite a lot of advantages there but it really is an old-fashioned sales tip that uh, measure the activity what's the phrase what gets measured gets done and it will allow you to produce the results so there's a little tip for you uh, here comes Brody she's wants to say hello to you. Uh, there's Brady and um, I'm going to sign off now and uh, speak to you next week. Uh, Paul Archer, paularcher.com. Bye.